in this video, we want to discuss how to access complex number functions in your graphing calculator. When your calculator comes out of the box, it is not already set up to complete operations with complex numbers and to report solutions with complex numbers. The way that you can test that is by attempting to take the square root of something that you know is not going to work, like the square root of negative 25. The calculator identifies for you that this needed to be a non-real answer in order for the calculator to give, a, to give the value. Therefore, there is an error message. If we go to the error message, it tells us that right at the radical is the mistake. But there is a way to allow for that kind of operation on the calc in the calculator. So looking at the mode button, which is right here, this is where you're going to identify a lot of the basic um, characteristic changes in the calculator, a lot of the major things that you can change. So if we click mode and we look about halfway down the screen, there is an option that says real, and then right next to it says A plus BI. Obviously, that's what we're going to want to select. So if we arrow over once to A plus BI and select enter, we've now highlighted that we want to identify complex solutions to the questions that we are answering. So arrowing back out of this, quitting back out of that, if I attempt to take the square root of negative 25 now, the calculator will, will report that non-real answer. It will report that imaginary number. With this function selected, we can now do operations with complex numbers as well. So let's take seven plus three I. Now, choosing the I in the calculator can be a little bit tricky, but it's down here with the decimal point. You'll notice it's the secondary option of the decimal point key second i and we're going to add that to 8 minus 4 i now we saw this example in one of the other videos but we should anticipate a result of 15 minus 1 i enter 15 minus i did it report the entire imaginary part with the one in front of it no but we know that that one needs to be there the calculator can also perform complex number multiplication. So we saw this example in a previous video, negative eight minus I times two plus I. And without showing us all of the work, we have negative 15 minus 10 I. And lastly, and the one that I think would be the most useful for you, is the calculator is able to divide complex numbers. We know division of complex numbers as rationalizing, multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. The calculator, of course, is not going to do all of that work. It's going to do the simplifying for us. It's going to give us the answer in the format that we want but maybe not show us all of the work. So the calculator in this case ends up being a good resource for testing your answer as opposed to giving you all of the work. So this is the example that we had in our rationalizing video. Six minus three I divided by seven minus two I. The calculator does not will usually not default to the fraction representation of each of the real and imaginary parts. If you want the calculator to give you the fractional representation of the real and the imaginary parts, you can choose math, which is over here on the left-hand left -hand column of the calculator, option number one, which is fraction, and then press enter again, and it gives you the fractional representation. It did split the imaginary number, or excuse me, the imaginary part from the real part, as we discussed in the video for the rationalization, because we want to see those two separate parts. But it will allow you, using math and the fraction option, to change a complex number into its fractional coefficients, which is a nice option, and especially because that's how you are likely to write it. You are likely to write it with those fractional parts. So all of the work that we've done 
with complex numbers up to this point with this small adjustment of changing the function of the calculator to A plus BI allows for us to do operations with complex numbers. Couple things to note. If you reset your calculator for any reason, that will jump back to real automatically. And you also want to make sure you're careful as to what section you are in or what lesson you might be in. If we venture out of the complex numbers and we need our solutions to be real and only have a real part, you're going to need to be careful to set that back to real so you're not getting answers that have those imaginary parts.